three products that you're going to avoid putting your baby into sleep if you want your baby to sleep well long term, not just in the newborn period. I'm Dr. Nikki. I'm a board certified pediatrician and mom of three young kids. I have a six year old, a three and a half year old, and a 19 month old, and they all sleep 10 to 12 hours at night. Now, this is a video about infants and sleep, so naturally I'm going to be talking about some safety concerns, but the main point of this video is to talk about products that are intended to make your life easier, but actually end up making your life much harder long term. Okay, so let's get right into it. Number one, any inclined sleeper or rocker. Straight off the bat, we're going to talk about the safety concern. It is not safe to put your baby in an inclined position to sleep, not even if you are watching them during nap time. There have been many deaths and near deaths in these inclined sleepers. Many of them have been recalled. They are no longer advertised for sleep, but unfortunately, they are still being used for sleep by many people. Now, that being said, safety aside, we're going to get into why this is going to make your life so much harder in the end. If your child gets used to sleeping in this one position, in an inclined position, or in something that's moving, Moving constantly it is going to be incredibly hard to transition them from this sleeping surface to a flat sleeping surface that has no movement such as a crib or a bassinet so this is something that I would recommend avoiding completely for sleep for a variety of reasons number two a stroller let me elaborate on this one a little bit there is no problem if you are going out with your baby and your baby falls asleep in the stroller and you're having a good time and the baby's sleeping that is not an issue. What I would avoid is every time if the baby is fussy or you're having a hard time putting the baby to sleep, you automatically put them in a stroller and go for a walk to try to get them to sleep. The reason, again, is very similar to the previous reason is that if you're doing this on a consistent basis, it gets them used to that motion of needing to walk around constantly in order to sleep. I see this happen where sometimes even as you stop moving the stroller, the baby wakes up and starts crying, and so you have to constantly move the stroller to get them to sleep. This, again, is going to make your life very difficult, maybe even in the immediate term, but also in the long term. By no means am I saying avoid sleep in strollers at all times. It's inevitable. It's totally acceptable and fine. I just wouldn't use it as a way to get your baby to sleep consistently. Number three, and I know so many people are going to come at me for this one, but the snoo. I would not recommend the snoo. First of all, the audacity to charge that amount of money for a sleep surface for an infant that is going to grow out of it very shortly. Let's put finances aside. The snoo essentially is a bassinet that has this kind of strap and swaddle with it and also has the ability to have constant motion, vibration. Again, you might find that this is helpful in the beginning because babies love that rocking motion and it's totally fine to rock your baby to sleep, but ultimately you want to then put them down in a surface that is not constantly moving, not constantly rocking because you don't want them to get used to that sensation. It's gonna be very hard to transition them from that moving surface to a regular flat surface that has no movement and has no vibration. Now the top three sleep surfaces that I would use right off the bat, right when you bring that baby home, in order to help them develop healthy sleep habits that will help them long term would be either a crib right away, just a flat crib with a fitted sheet with nothing else surrounding them in that crib, or a regular bassinet, or my personal favorite, a pack and play. I personally love a play art or pack and play to be placed right near the bedside and the reason is because it's really easy to move around if you want to bring it upstairs or downstairs and also because the top surface where you're going to place your baby in the first stages in the first couple of months before they're able to roll over or sit up that top surface has a little bit of movement to it so if your baby wakes a little bit and you're right next to the bedside and you know they're not ready to feed and they're just waking up a little you can actually give it a little bit of movement without having to take the baby out without having to turn something on that keeps that movement on the entire night so it allows you to give a little bit of that motion and rocking movement and then automatically it stops when you move your hand away and the best part about it other than how mobile it is how you can bring it with you if you go on vacation and they're already used to sleeping in there is once they grow out of it it can be used as an area to play in for your toddler and now for me it's now just a place where we put a ton of toys that being said, choose what's right for you and your family and your situation. Of course, keeping safety tips in mind, safe sleep in mind, and hopefully avoiding things that are marketed to make your life easier in the beginning and unfortunately often end up making your life a lot harder in the end.